We're on buoyancy calculations part two, finding an object's weight or volume. This is example question five from the study notes. I hope you're watching these videos in the order they're intended to be viewed in by viewing them from my website, www.goprocaribbean.com. I'm proving to you how even the trickiest of questions can be made simple by just using a diagram. Let's pull up another somewhat tricky question and make it easy using the diagram. What's the first step with our diagram? We draw the object, a square or cube. We know it has an upward force. We know it has a downward force. We know that we find the upward force by multiplying the volume by the constant for the type of water it is in. So now we've got the basic diagram. Let's start looking at the question. What information are we given? Well, we're given the volume. So let's fill that in in the middle of our box, 75 liters. Now let's look at the question again and see that we're told the type of water we're in, salt water. Let's put in 1.03 and we've got our first calculation. Let's do it. 75 times 1.03 is 77.25. What other information are we given? Well, we're told it's 20 kilograms positive. If it's 20 kilograms positive, that means that the downward force is 20 kilograms less than the upward force. So... 77.25 minus 20 is 57.25. Answer C is the correct answer.